Well, right now, the pangolin is considered the most poached mammal on the planet, let alone just in Zimbabwe. And the statistics all around Africa are just in, on the increase every day. Uh, we've never seen so many pangolins being poached over the last month. What we've had in the last month is something more than we've had over a period of three years in the past. So I would say that it's highly endangered. It's very difficult to be able to say exactly how many, what a percent is being um, poached on a daily basis or weekly basis. Currently there are eight species of pangolin in the world, four in Africa and four in Asia. It's very difficult to be able to know what the population distribution is worldwide. Unlike with the rhino, you can count exactly how many rhino there are in the bush. With the pangolin, you can't. They're very secretive. The habitat is very difficult to find them. Um, and you can't say, in this area, there are only X amount of pangolin, therefore we can protect them. We don't know how many pangolin there are. The Tigawa Trust is a 24-7 rescue centre. We'll take in any animal, any wild animal that needs rescuing and rehabilitating, but our main focus is always on releasing the animal back into the wild. Uh, that brings in a, another aspect, is we have to protect wild areas in order to have safe places to release these animals. So again, we work with people on the ground to um, have safe havens where we can release the animals that we rescue and rehabilitate. So this is a little boy pangolin and his name is Bambanani. Bambanani um, was a victim of the illegal um, wildlife trade. His mother was poached on a Thursday evening and was taken to the police station where she remained in, the, in a cage in the police station. And when the police came in in the morning, Bambanani had been born. Um, and that's when we were called in to obviously assist uh, with the care of both mother and baby. And the, his mum has subsequently been released back into the wild, so she will be given a second chance. One of the areas that I felt very strongly about when I got involved in conservation was trying to make a difference for when we're no longer here, i.e. at some point I'm no longer going to be around, but I still want the efforts of what I've done in my lifetime to go on to the next generation. So having that in the back of my mind, I decided the one way to tackle that is through the judiciary or through the legal system. And the Tiki Howard Trust over the last 10 years has worked with changing the current wildlife laws. And in fact, we've changed all the poaching fines for every single animal from A to Z within Zimbabwe. And we will continue to do it so that we create a respect within the populace to protect and not poach the wildlife. We've actually endured Zimbabwe over the hardest 20 years in conservation and we're still here and we're still going strong. So that what makes us continue doing what we're doing? Well, we believe in the country, we believe in the wildlife and we want to give back to our country because we're passionate Zimbabweans and we want there to be a tomorrow and in tomorrow we want animals to be part of that tomorrow. Mm -hmm.